Hey folks, this is I always say we're back um, again. We're on Reddit. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, but I've been saving this one for a while, and so uh, I definitely wanted to get to it this time. Um, so this is the Hold My Beaker subreddit. <laughs> I guess I should probably show you guys that. Um, and so I think Hold My Beer, except, well, sciencey stuff. Because I enjoy that. And so, I've actually worked at a bunch below uh, number 20 to make sure that they were fun and they were fun. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's hold my beaker while I combine brake fluid and chlorine. Uh, I don't remember what this turns into, but I. Ah, you get explosions. You get a. <laughs> it's exothermic. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Uh, I guess I don't actually know what's in like break for it now that I think about it. I realize it's. I don't. I don't think I've ever looked at the ingredients in break food, but whoa, nope. We do not need this. I don't know what this is, but we don't need it. Huh. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's just go on to the next one. Huh. Ain't though. Anytime you can create an exothermic reaction, though, it's fun. Assuming you know it's coming. Because if you don't know it's coming, huh, there's going to be a problem. So, <laughs> hold my beer while I blow up a layer in my face. Yeah, I don't see how this could go badly at all. Okay. So literally, he is blowing up a lighter in his face. What did? Obviously, this was not what he obviously he wanted because nobody would purposely do this. But why? Oh, the sunglasses were on fire. When he blows up the lighter, you can see the the fire. You know, obviously, backlash towards his face. And then for a moment there, you can see his face is on fire. That's the sunglasses, I think. And then he swats them off. Okay, so. And and I'm kind of surprised he doesn't catch the place on fire, considering how much crap seems to be around this place. And how many plugs are plugged into this one spot. Yeah, okay. So, not the smartest man in the world. We're just going to proceed to the next one. Keep your eyes on the balls. Okay. <laughs> Who's ever done this? <laughs> if you haven't, you should. It is glorious. Though preferably not to yourself, but to a friend. Actually, if you do it, if you... uh if you don't um, do it in the way it, it injures you, the uh, the top ball does quite sore, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Hold my beaker while I fire a coil gun using my bare hands. Uh, what? This was maybe not the best idea you could have come up with. So, let's pause this for a second. Um, for anybody who doesn't realize what's going on, the this is a, a magnet coil. Uh, he's about to activate. As soon as he powers it, it turns into a magnet coil. Because, of, um, and then I'm going to bet that this is poorly charged the opposite way. 
Um, so right now, because this isn't powered, it's, these two don't react at all to each other. Um, but as soon as he powers this, suddenly they're, they're polarized opposite. And, well, obviously they want to get away from each other. And because of the fact that, no? Wait, because the fire said that way, didn't it? Not a hermit sensor in how this works. I do know that this isn't magnetized until he powers it. But why would you hold it? This seems like a great way to shoot yourself, right? Somebody out there in the sciencey world is going to tell me I'm, I'm dead wrong. But, yeah, because it fires out the side. Why? <laughs> why would you hold it? And what did you think was going to happen? People. Hold my beer. Hold my beaker. Why pour molten copper over dry ice? There is no way this works out well. Oh. That's interesting. So because the copper is so hot that it's sublimating the ice, um, it's actually forming a barrier and the ice doesn't ever touch the copper. Um, the heat from the copper melts the dry ice before it touches the dry ice. And so it just hovers on the surface of the dry ice and, uh, and bounces around and then eventually off. Though obviously this particular dry ice isn't going to last that long. A, because of the fact that dry ice outside of, you know, so <laughs> really nice. I don't know what the temperature dry ice freezes at, but it's, it's quite a bit below freezing. Uh, it uh, So it is obviously going to start to melt just because of that bad fact. But the molten copper all around is not going to help any. And if this thing's made of metal, it's going to be get toasty real fast. But that's a cool effect, and I liked watching it. Hold my beaker while I make a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this could go badly. So it's a demonstration of fire. Oh. Ah, that's so cool. So because um, they bubbled the fuel up through the soap, uh, the soap protects the kid's hand as a barrier, but the fuel still wants to get lit on fire, and there's not enough of it contained in that soap to do any real damage to him. So, of course, you got the f three elements he needs is fuel, heat, and then oxygen. That's so cool. I like that. And I'm never going to do that at home, but that's so cool. Hold my beaker while I vacuum up a lit cigarette into into a chamber full of gunpowder. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, it's... Okay, it's a slow-mo. Okay, deal. <laughs> and you can see that this this is somehow... Oh, they're holding, they're holding safety glass. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, "What? What is? It? How is this contained?" But then, when it switches views, you realize they're just holding safety glass. So they're not going to get hit by the explosion, but they still want to see it really close. I guess that works. Um, though personally, I wouldn't trust just one piece of glass between me and an explosion. You know, people are people. Okay. Uh, and I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> this king <laughs> means so many things. Uh, liquid nitrogen, I assume? And... Uh, 
Actually, it could be a bunch of things, but my first guess is still going to be liquid nitrogen. Obviously, it's liquid nitrogen. That uh, it's hard to change your first guess, especially after you said it out loud. Hold my beaker as I light a d this dollar bill on fire. So, anyone who's expecting the fire to be yeah normal is wrong. A, that's illegal, mind you. And B, wait. So she didn't actually wait the dollar bill on fire. This is a problem. This is a really dumb problem. Why do you not? So she dipped the dollar bill in accelerant, uh, in fuel accelerant. And then held it up while still dripping, lit it on fire. The drips caught fire, fell back into the accelerant, and then she lit her house on fire, M more or less. We don't, the gift ends too soon for us to know what happens next. But at this point in time, I don't, I don't understand the water. Why would you pour water into accelerant? This is not going to put out, obviously. It's just going to make it go everywhere, which is exactly what happens. All she had to do was put a lid on that container, and it would have been done. But no, instead she sets her whole desk on fire. People, people sometimes. <laughs> okay, well. Hold my beaker while I show everyone why I'm the hottest teacher in this school. Somehow, I think he's going to end up getting himself set on fire. Yep. Yep. So he was intending to put the fire out with the flick. But he lit. Oh, the fuel dropped backwards down his shirt and lit up his shirt on fire. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't, I don't get why people, oh, part-time arsonist. Why well, become part-time arsonist? Yeah, so, people, stop using fire when you don't know what you're doing with it. There's a reason I don't juggle fire. <laughs> it's too unpredictable. I don't have the years of experience it takes to, yeah, not do that. Yeah, that's that's on fire. You're not going to put that out with a tiny extinguisher either. That's a fire de department thing. He was going to pass his hand through that flame like nobody's business. And I mean, honestly, you can do that. It's going to hurt. Um, it's the kind of thing I do on my uh, daily basis at work. Uh, because the whole thing where I accidentally burn myself all the time. It's, it's just you know one of the things that comes with cooking uh, in professional kitchens. Because everything's always hot. But, um, but he wasn't thinking about the... Like, he wasn't... He was over-nervous dealing with fire and the the folks and he misjudged his <laughs> height <laughs> hold my beaker while I swing burning steel wool around oh this is cool to do assuming you don't you know catch yourself or anything else on fire but steel wool burns so cool yeah right oh yeah that is beautiful. I gotta assume that's the way they do those kind of effects in movies and stuff, right? Uh, if you've never done this before. And you have a safe place to do it. <laughs> it is just so cool. 
even just like a small portion of steel wool that you can set on fire is just beautiful. I'd like to recommend a mask up for this fine subreddit. <laughs> yeah, I guess we saw that coming. I don't know if he... and From the looks, of, no, nobody took him seriously or he didn't get his picture somewhere. So... Meh. And now, we're trying to, like... Finaling it, zooming in on the finals, I guess. Hold my beaker while I turn this water bottle into a jet engine and then make it implode. Okay. I'm with you right up into the implode part. I can't say making a jet engine implode has ever been like, oh, so he's putting accelerant in there. There's obviously already fuel in there. And then he's going to drop the matches. It's a good thing he didn't put any of that accelerant on the table. Otherwise he'd be like, oh. And that is a jet engine. And then it's going to pop as it needs air. Oh no. And it's gonna implode on itself, yeah. Yeah. So that is the coolest thing. Uh for anybody who doesn't realize how that's done, of course, that is what is going on. Great. Get us back to hold my beaker. Thanks. That was fun. Anyway, <laughs> so that was um when all the fire had consumed all the air, he plugged the gap and the vacuum and put the, the beaker. That was, or the, the bottle. That was awesome. Sodium plus potassium liquid alloy bullets. What? Ah. Wow. That's cool. And yet, extremely terrifying. <laughs> uh, anyone want to see the view from that camera? Because I really do. I get a feeling if we go to this guy's YouTube account, we can probably see it. So I'm going to scoot back over here. But you guys can uh, visit him and see what he's got. Hold my beaker while I ignite these bubbles. Ah, of course, accelerant and bubbles. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just going to be called fire. And nobody gets hurt. Yeah. That's cool. I do like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> right? Okay. So then, while I skip around a pound, oh, skipping sodium on a pond. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, a pound on a lake. It's fine. It's it's details. Oh, doesn't work. Um, the link, not the trick. So, sodium reacts badly with water and it explodes. Um, so obviously, if you take a slice of it, like so. You know, the, the kind of thing you're looking for in a, in a smooth skipping stone, so you perfectly flat bottom, and you throw that so it rotates nice and fast as it flies. Every time it makes contact, it will explode and repel itself along, and so you can skip it across the lake quite nicely. It will, however, eventually dissolve, but uh, it is a lot of fun to watch. Okay, hold my beaker while I make a jack lantern is our number one post. And it's going to be about 20 minutes long, so this is a good point. And wait, whoa! So I can see slits where the eyes are and the nose. So obviously he's got this thing all cut out already. Yep, there's the mouth. Got this thing all cut out already, but not. He must have had the... He cut the top off, 
put the accelerant inside. There's a hole in the back, obviously. Um, but didn't actually cut, fully cut the eyes, nose, and mouth out. And then just let it explode into a jack lantern. That is cool. <laughs> he looks almost like he wasn't quite ready for it. But uh, that is really cool. I um, I don't recommend anyone do this. Because I'm pretty sure it's really easy to overdo this. And end up with you know pumpkin pie everywhere. But <laughs> that was cool. So this has been Hold My Beaker. Um, and I hope that you guys are... Uh, <laughs> are enjoying this if you guys are hit the like button leave me comments that sort of thing um the more comments i get the more i do this the more likely i will do this kind of thing and this is your 20 minute video for those of you who keep telling me to do 20 minute videos so yeah enjoy it thank you all for watching have a great day this ioe throughout